Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. In this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of everything you see here from the game Nemesis by Awaken Realms. And this is the core box. This is a stretch gold box that has the Aftermath and the Void Seekers expansion. This is the Carnomorph expansion, the Terrain expansion. I have an art book and also some Kickstarter exclusives. So let's start with the core game. Okay, so starting with the Nemesis board game, the core game itself, by Awaken Realms and Rebel, a game by Adam Kwapinski. So it's a, it's a large box, it's pretty tall, it's heavy, it's got a nice cool artwork on the front with one of those aliens and a, uh, an astronaut in a suit, and the back of the box. Ugh has the components all laid out, the game board with the uh, dashboards and cards, lots of miniatures, tells you a bit about the game, lists the components. It's a game for ages 14 and up, in about one to two hours for one to five players. Okay, let's uh, open up the box. So the lid is not entirely flush, but I reckon that that is because of punch boards that will later be removed from the game so then it will probably sit flush first of all we have the rule book and it tells us that you don't want need to read the rules if you don't want to and you can watch a how to play video which is great and it's a not too big book with a rules summary on the back and the first page is already all the components a game introduction uh, the setup so that's already seven pages in and more setup crew setup a description of how the board works and then actually the rules just start at page 10 so it's not that that many rules really so the goal of the game your actions movement and exploration more on that here encounters and combat etc objects and items and a room sheet so all the different rooms that are in the game are explained here and different game modes you can play solo you can play co-op you can play as an intruder there's an alternate side of the board too so yeah that's it cool the game manual so here we have a room sheet so kind of like a reference board that you can put on the table and there's two of them so you can put both sides on the table at once that will tell you about the basic and the additional rooms so then we have these punch boards with all these rooms on them and they are double-sided so there's this punch board there's another punch board with the intruder board uh, unlocked escape pods some more rooms some more engines double-sided again pretty cool a third punch board with uh, these player dashboards here so and some extra rooms they already come out very easily that is good and another one of those with the scientist and the pilots they're all double-sided but they just have character board on the back so uh, the scout and the soldier with some extra room tiles and these tokens, a whole punch board full of tokens, double-sided. 
and we have a box stand that's pretty cool so you can put that together and you'll have a box stand okay we have some doors here and the cool looking first player token <laughs> with the cat in the spacesuit that's pretty cool nice oh so you can put <laughs> so this just that it's just a stand where you can actually put the box on and then take a cool picture all right they probably had some space left on their punch boards <laughs> decided to do something fun with that so here is the game board let me put this to the side for a bit and show you the game board so let's see i'll fold it out in the middle that usually works best and then there we go so we have two sides <clears throat> so it's pretty big there you go that's all i can fit into the frame right now so we have this side of the board looks pretty cool all these corridors tile spaces for the room for the rooms to be placed and on the other side and i'm putting it actually I should put it this way so you can read the numbers so there we go this is the other side of the board nice it's pretty dark but of course we've got to place all the tiles the room tiles on these spots and it's uh, it's supposed to be dark because it's uh, a creepy sci-fi horror game all right so that's the player board what else is in the box okay so we have an insert here with a nice lid and that says nemesis right there so we have some stuff in here okay let's take a look oh wow yeah those minis look awesome <laughs> let's start with this so what do we have here insert contamination card here so this has one of those plastic uh, transparent red uh, sheets in there a filter and it is open a little bit so you can slide a card in there and then read what it says all right so that's pretty cool so we have that let's see what else do we have we have some plastic beads here i think they're plastic yes these plastic beads all right, so we have a baggie full of those. We have a bag of red plastic cubes. Okay. We have some clips, some base clips for the uh, player characters. Uh, rubber, so they are soft and you can clip them on the bases. So each player has their own color. We have a nice baggie here for tokens or dice or whatever we need to put in there that says nemesis on it all right and it's nice that all these things have their own space in this insert then we have these plastic fire markers that's pretty cool let's take one out so i can show you that a bit better there you go that's pretty nice acrylic fire tokens all right then we have these plastic also pretty cool these gears plastic gear tokens that's quite nice and we have plastic stands for i'm assuming the doors you can set them on the board we got some nice transparent and opaque dice here so i'll take those out all right so we got two of these translucent red and we have two of these and they are also translucent gray blackish but that's pretty cool so we have four dice we have some of these uh, acrylic yellow transparent tokens and what does it say on them 
So it's uh, kind of, a, I don't know what kind of symbol that is. It kind of makes me think it's a noise token or something. So I still need to learn the game, so I don't know what everything is exactly. Right, it's a lot of stuff there. And it does say on the bottom it has symbols, so you kind of know what goes where, you know. It's, uh, there's a triangle there, there's the fire token over there. There's uh, something that's shaped like the door over here, so maybe the door tokens go there. Right, so then we have these, and I believe these are for your characters. So you can put cards in there, they're card holders in, in any case. So that's pretty nice, actual plastic card holders. So one, two, five of those, yep. Cool. All numbered as well. So then we got some minis and I opted for the sun drop option. Usually you'll get these just plain plastic, but the sun drop option, you know, had them sort of pre-painted. It's a technique. So let's start with the, uh, the heroes. And I'm telling you, that makes such a world of difference. They're basically base coated already. So they're base coated with a black and then a white spray. So uh, I think they completely coated them black first and then with the white from different angles. So it brings out the detail better and you can still continue painting them and finish them off basically or just keep them like this because it's not bad. This is pretty cool. I'd be perfectly happy playing the game with these as they are. So we have this guy, really cool, with his uh, kind of classic looking revolver gun. And he's pointing that way. <laughs> All right, so then we have uh, this character here. Uh, she's carrying a bigger gun. She's got some, I think, grenades on her back. Pretty nice. All right. Here's a third character in the, in the suit from the box art. He's got a really heavy gun. Looking cool. And there's plenty of detail on these models. It's really cool. There we have this guy, I think he's like the techie in this uh, very futuristic looking wheelchair. And he's got a console there that he's interacting with. Yep, cool. And then we have the fifth character here. So he's got a smaller gun, he's got a backpack, a helmet, and some sort of device on his arm there. All right, cool. And the sixth character here, uh, I think she's a scout or something. So she's got a some kind of visor in front of her eye, right eye. She's got a, a gun, smaller backpack. So, yep, those are the six player characters. Very, very cool looking. So then some smaller <laughs> creepy aliens over here. So what's that? So we have kind of like three of these larvae aliens Kind of remind me of the chest burster from Alien. Only these have like claws, two spiky uh, front legs, as it were. And there's three of them on this. And uh, yeah, that looks really cool. So there's several of those in here. I believe there are six. Yes, there are six of those. Nice. 
So then let's take a look at these, the next step in the uh, evolution of these aliens, uh, so to speak. So uh, it's got two stubby rear legs, uh, still not fully developed, small double tails. And it's got large front claws, these talons here. And I really love how these are pre-painted, you know, the sun drop effect that I got really makes them pop, really brings out all of the detail. It's very cool. So uh, this is kind of like a crawling alien that can impale you on its, uh, on its claws here. So yeah, that's these guys. Very, very cool. And then the next step is this guy. They're even bigger now. It's got hind legs, you know, fully developed hind legs. The talons have become kind of like extra claws on its shoulders. And the two tails are now fully grown, large, tall, long uh, tails. They're actually loose parts, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, this moves and this moves a bit. And it's also got an extra pair of arms so now it's got six and uh, you know there's blood on them very cool looking it's got some jaws there so that's nice so not only did they you know pre prime them with uh, a black primer and then that the uh, the sun drop effect with the, uh, the, the the dark bluish color they also added some blood here and there, so uh, really cool. They're just ready to play like that. So that's in the first tray, and then below this one, there is a second tray with a plastic lid as well. I'll take that off. We, of course, have some cards. There's plenty of cards here, so we have this big pack of cards with uh, action cards and there might be more there's it says captain here so there's probably special cards for each of the characters as well there's big cards here that have the ship on the back that says corporate here there's probably different ones different types of cards i don't know i'm not going to open them all because there's quite a few of them and that would take too long we have these intruder attack cards so the things the aliens do, such as egg protection. And then there's these small cards. So we got items and coordinates. Probably some more as well. So we have these. And there are extra slots there and there, which actually says in the box, it says empty space for sleeved cards which is fantastic. So if you want to sleeve your cards, they'll take up more space and that's why these extra spots are there. Then there's this spot here, which is clearly for the, uh, for the tiles, for the room tiles. And there's uh, an indentation here, which I assume fits the dashboard as well. It does fit one at least. I don't know how many you're supposed to put there, but there's an edge here too. So maybe it's for something else. Maybe this is for the intruder board and the, uh, oh yeah, the player dashboard cards. They probably go on here. Yeah, that's where they go. So you have more space here for the character boards and one slot here for the uh, the nemesis board. Let me see if I can grab that real, real quick. So here's the intruder board and that goes here then i think <laughs> all right so then we have some more of those minis so we got two of these guys again which we already saw on the top uh, insert then we have another version of those so these bigger ones even bigger um although it does look like you know this one is simply crouched and this one is standing up so it's probably the same stage in their growth and their evolution just a different sculpt and it shows you just how big they are i mean it, they are they are huge huge aliens large legs and these 
tails and the tail on the shoulders, the claws, there's some blood on them. So again, normally you'd get these in a standard plastic, probably gray, and the Sundrop option had them uh, pre-painted more or less. But it really, it fits, it fits the, the models, fits the alien theme. So uh, yeah, they're probably gonna stay like this. I might end up painting the, uh, the characters and just keep these as they are, because they are really well done. So we got four of those, now we got this big guy, so uh, one special kind of alien, a really big one, really large with even, uh, you know, a big, like, armored carapace uh, body, large head, big jaws, it's got two massive front arms, and the shoulder claws are now pointed down a bit like, you know, like wings, more or less. Large uh, hind legs with an extra uh, joint there. So, uh, in a very dynamic pose. It's very cool. And just for comparison, here is a regular character. So, they are indeed quite large. Bite your head off. <laughs> okay. So two of those, and then finally, we have the Queen. And this is a very imposing model, very impressive. So we have the Queen standing on top of this hatch. So there's a round hatch molded onto the base with the door on a mechanism here that closes the hatch. And it's being pressed open, is being forced open by an entire swarm of these uh, small larvae. These tiny aliens crawling out and the queen is standing on top and she's holding one of them ready to toss it at one of the humans or maybe she's using it as a snack, who knows? <laughs> really cool a large tail she only has one tail as opposed to the other ones who have two or uh, this one actually doesn't have a tail at all <laughs> so that's uh, different and this one has one large tail with some blood on it blood in the claws blood in the mouth there and the huge crown and that is one impressive model lots of detail Really cool looking. So that is really cool. Okay. So I believe that is everything that is in the core box. Let's open up another one. Okay, so before I open the next box, I just wanted to show you quickly how I put everything back. So the intruder board goes on top here. The tiles for the rooms go here. The cards obviously go there. I put the clips here, but you can actually clip them on to the characters already. And if you sleeve the cards, that will be filled. The lid goes on there. So then this goes in here. Those go there like they were when I opened it. These oval tokens go into this slot. The dice go here. The gears and the acrylic fire tokens both go into this slot, which is also depicted on the bottom. The big round tokens go into this dice, uh, well, in the bag, in the dice bag, the token bag, in here. Round tokens go here, the smaller ones. The um, hexagonal tokens go here. The doors with the stands all fit in here. This has the red cubes, the plastic circles, this is all the uh, engine and uh, the, these oval escape pod tokens and the first player token, they all fit in here. So then you can put this back on top of that, where it was when I opened it. Put this on top, there, and that leaves a slot for all of these character boards. So then everything fits inside, the board goes on top, and then the, uh, these room boards and the manual go on top of that. And that means that everything will sit flush because it's still below the lid a bit. 
and just put that on top like so and it will sit nice and flush as you can see and that is how you rebox nemesis and i also put together the stand so in case you wanted to see that this just goes like that and then you can put your box on top and it completely collapses <laughs> so the box is really too heavy it's nice if you put the lid on it when you're playing or something don't put it on it when it's full <laughs> the stand will not carry its weight unless maybe you glue it or something this is the terrain expansion for nemesis it's a uh, rectangular box doesn't have a whole lot of info on it just some uh, images so uh, yeah let's just uh, open up the box and see what's inside so let's see stuff in here take off the lid and these are wow also already pre-painted with the sun drop this time just you know a black base coat and a kind of like a white wash and uh, that's pretty pretty cool I mean this is the locked escape pod I'm assuming and you flip it around and it's open and you have two spots for two models to stand on so uh, that is really cool big and chunky really cool board, board piece Yep, so four of those. Then we have actual 3D doors, <laughs> which have scratches all the way through the door. Also, uh, you know, sun drop, basically base coated with black and white. So that's great. Uh, so there's uh, six, 12 of those. And there are different kinds of doors as well. I've got a bit of a cold, so excuse me for my nasal sounding voice. <laughs> so we have this door as well, with a hole punched in it. And uh, what else do we have, I think? Are these different as well? No, those are the same that we saw before. So I believe six of these and six of these in the bottom tray and or in the top tray and then in the bottom tray over here we have so let me see if i can get that out because that is also held in place pretty firmly <clears throat> so what's that this is like you know an, an egg or a hive that hatches eggs Looks pretty creepy. <laughs> so we got eight of those inside of this box. If I can get that back in, that is. No. And then we have some uh, victims here. So there's a, uh, a dead crew member. Just sitting there, gun on the floor, nice. So we have that one, let's see, this one is different. There's a guy in a, or a girl in a suit. Also the helmet is completely cracked. There's a, some, some cuts on the legs. So that's this victim and then we have another one in the chair just lying there also pretty cool so that's three and what's in here what's that and more victims so five different you know uh, victims instead of tokens that's pretty cool man i mean that really sets the mood doesn't it look at that <laughs> that is very awesome okay that is the terrain expansions box 
So here is the Nemesis Carnomorph expansion. This is the box. And on the back, it just has some artwork. So there's a new kind of alien in here. Let's open it up. Well, so first, there is another uh, game manual for the Carnomorphs, which is rather thin. Just has about uh, eight pages with the elements, how they work, the gameplay rules, and a summary. So it adds a new kind of alien, new kind of nemesis to the game. It also has a Carnomorph board, just like the intruder board on the base game. Some new tokens with these uh, spawning tokens that you I assume you put in the bag. So we have one punch board with all of these. And then we have an insert. Also again with the uh, sun drop option. Is this taped shut or is it just very tight? No, it's just very tight. <laughs> Alright, I'll put this back. There we go. So we have a actually a spot there for uh, the Carnomorph board. So inside we find cards. So we got these uh, Carnomorph attack cards and these smaller uh, Carnomorph adaptation cards. And these go here with room if you sleeve them and these go here again with some extra room. So that's nice. Here's a space for those round tokens. This is a round insert. And otherwise we have minis. So let's start with these smaller ones. Again, I had them uh, pre-painted sun drop effects and this time not blue but red because the carnivores are kind of more fleshy and uh, bloody. They kind of, uh, how do you call it? They kind of absorb DNA, I, I would say, you know, humans and then form a body out of that. So we have these small spider-like creepy monsters here, these aliens. So we have those and there's uh, quite a few of that. There's two in here, two on top. And there's two more here with two more in the bottom, so that's eight. Are these actually different? Let me see, is that a different sculpt? It is, indeed. So there's four of those and four of those. So this is not very spider-like, it's more like slug-like. It's like a snake or a slug with two of these legs. Kind of like a bigger version of the um, Core Games uh, larvae. You never know, maybe one of the Carnivores ate one of those and turned into this. That's pretty cool. So we have four of those in there. All right, let's take out one of these. Uh, looks like there are a lot of those and they do look the same. They're a bit tight in here. There we go. So are these all the same? It does look like it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of this guy which looks like it has absorbed a human DNA because there is a human skull, there's some ribs, there's a spine here, and the feet look like reverse hands, as you can see. And, it's, you know, it's got the arm hanging there, and a spiky arm over there, so it's a kind of like a mess of human body parts and, and DNA all jumbled together. It's got a tail as well. Really creepy looking. So that's pretty cool. It was one of the two expansions with new aliens and one of them was included as a free stretch goal. The other one was made an add-on. But I'm pretty glad this one was chosen as the stretch goal because those appeal to me a bit more. The other ones, I don't even remember. They were, I think, more greenish or purple. I can't remember. I think they were purple. And these were red, and the base game was more like blue. There we go. 
So we have those. Then we have several of these. I'll take out this one. There's three of them there because these are the same. Yeah, they are. So we have three of these and this is, wow, this is a whole other kind of mess. <laughs> this just keeps growing, you know, so we have the body there, here's the chest, the head. Again, there's some semblance of human, of a human skeleton in there, so two arms here, some uh, spikes coming from the back and these large legs. And this is the back. So that looks pretty creepy. Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> kind of like the thing or something, you know? So, yeah. Three of those. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of detail and a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Nice. Three of those in the tight insert. So that's, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> they didn't have to make them that tight uh, as far as I'm concerned oh, oh well so then we have this one which is the big bad boss the one on the cover <laughs> that is really really creepy he's got two skulls huge rib case rib cage <laughs> and there's a large hand one hand is broken off it's got more ribs just jutting out of its back in the other direction. It's got a large tail with a spike, so it kind of looks like it also absorbed one of the intruder aliens. So yeah, look at that. There's a lot of, you know, muscular tissue and, and stuff, tendons wrapped around the legs and the arms everywhere keeping it together that is absolutely horrible truly horrifying <laughs> that is cool so yeah that is the carnomorph boss there all right so that's everything in the carnomorph expansion let's open up the next box and this is the stretch goal box. Oh, right, that's that's right. I messed up earlier. The carnomorphs were made the expansion, and the void seeders are the expanded stretch goal box. So those are in here. So I did get them all. After all, <laughs> the completionist that I am. So aftermath and void seeker seeders, void seeders. Again, nothing really informative on the back, but this is a Kickstarter exclusive box, so it doesn't really need to have anything. Just a piece of art. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Very first, we find the expansion manual, which is a thin booklet that tells you which game elements you can find in this box, new traits and characters, other aftermath components. An epilogue mode. Okay, cool. And a research mission mode. So yeah, some new modes to play the game. Uh, there's uh, the game manual for the Void Seeders. Again, same setup. Just a couple of pages. Uh, their features, the rules and the changes in gameplay all right and a summary on the back which is also very handy we got some tokens here on a small punch board we got the medic which was an exclusive so a new character nice i'll just punch that already we got the CEO and the Android, more exclusive characters, and some new uh, room tiles as well. We have the Psychologist, the Bounty Hunter, more exclusives. A crafting room, some new tokens there and here as well. For the turrets, which are also in this box. Then we got... Oh, 
And these were punched. So I'm guessing there was something wrong with these and we got these instead. All right. Okay. They fixed that correctly then, <laughs> I'm assuming. And um, yeah, it does look like it. It does absolutely look like that was supposed to be there. Then we have the Void Seeders board and a Convict. All right. And more of these. Uh, I think they are spawn tokens or something. Warning tokens. They are double-sided with warning tokens. All right. Okay. It's different from the other boxes. There's uh, an additional game board here. So this has a additional room or maybe a part of the ship or a separate ship where the three, uh, where new rooms can be placed. So that's interesting. And then we got an insert with more cards and miniatures. And this is the bottom tray uh, right away. So uh, there's nothing else in there. And I like the fact that the insides of all these boxes are black. They're not just gray cardboard. It's pretty cool. So we've got more cards with extra space if you sleeve them. So uh, we have uh, <laughs> character draft cards. We have search cards here. All right. So we got those. We have uh, a lucrative offer. A help card. All right. Again, I'm not going to open all of those cards. There's just too many. Video would be too long. So we have, here is the, uh, the engineer. So what are these? Generator overheating. Stuff that's happening. Another search card or search action. Yeah, action cards. So we've got more of those. Extra space for sleeve cards and these small crafted item cards. Okay, nice. We have some spots here for the various tokens that we got in this box. And we got new models and new uh, characters as well. There's a spot here as well for some circular tokens. Oh, and there's a sand timer, so you can actually play this timed then <laughs> new game mode. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's start here. I think this is the convict. Again, uh, sun drop pre-painted, so base coated in black and white. He's got a mask on, and I believe he still has his hands cuffed together because he's holding his wrists together, and he's got a little gun there. So, the convict. Then here is uh, an old man, the CEO, I believe, who is being uh, helped by a droid. Kind of like uh, Mr. Wayland from the Alien movies. That's uh, cool. So we have him. And we have this girl here. A very fancy dress. And I like the fact that all the bases are, you know, uh, they have this mesh on them. They're not just flat bases. So it fits within the theme. Very sci-fi looking. And there's a lot of detail. I really like how the, the pre-painting brings out all the uh, detail of these miniatures. This dress looks very cool. Okay. Then we got this guy here <clears throat> with a large kind of like a shotgun Futuristic looking. He's got some grenades on a belt. He's uh, He's got some body plating on, body armor. So, yeah. Another exclusive character. And uh, we have this girl here. With some cool looking glasses on. She's got all sorts of gadgets. She gets something coming out of her backpack there. A very uh, 
futuristic looking dress as well very cool or coat that's uh, kind of like a lab coat i think long coat uh, in any case and uh yeah cool and this one comes with a pink base ring so i assume we were, were needing an extra color if we're adding the contents of the medic here so she comes with a pink base clip so yep there's our medical pack on the back so those are six new player characters there and we got the void seeders and this one i just wanted to show you that first because that is so cool the cat from the first player token in the space suit <laughs> very funny so you got that as a first player token <laughs> that is fantastic that is super cool all right so these void cedars let's see let's take one of the smaller looking ones which is already pretty big compared to one of these so it's got big tail ons big claws here uh it's purplish purplish white and uh, it's walking on, or maybe it's flying, hovering with these tentacles on the bottom. Almost looks aquatic. So yeah, pretty cool. This model uh, has six of them in the box. So um, there we go. There's three here and three there, and I believe they are all the same. So then, let's move on to, oh, what's this? We have, <clears throat> oh, that's supposed to be in there, of course. So we have this egg, I assume, with some uh, tentacles around it. So we have that there. Okay, so that goes there. Then we have these, uh, again with the tentacles. Kind of like they're floating, slithering around the arms with the strange looking talons and a strange looking whatever it is for a face. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very strange looking aliens. So, okay. But they do like look like they're their own race, like the ones in the core game as well, the uh, the intruders, uh, in you know opposed to the um, the Carno, Carno, what's the what the girl Carno morphs that kind of build themselves out of whatever they eat. <laughs> so now I'll carefully try to take out this one because these inserts I'm not a fan. Me. If I have a lid, then I don't really need everything to be this tight. But okay, here we go. So here's another big guy, big alien, who's uh, coming through a, like a passageway or a, a, past the bulkhead. And it's pulling it down, steel bars with its tentacles. So they are pretty strong. So yeah, also a nice looking model. Really big. Okay, so we have that one. That went easier. And then we have this king or queen leader uh, void cedar which has not just the tentacles but also very pointy looking legs and arms all kinds of stuff going on there it doesn't even have a base because the legs will stand on its own so yeah nice all right and below it is hidden a 
a tiny little guy over here. So here is a, a dog. We got a doggo. Hey there. Who's a good boy? So we got a little dog to help the survivors. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so this little guy was hiding underneath the boss over there. Oop, there we go. Uh, this way around or that way around. <laughs> I can't even remember. Was it stood up? Oh boy. Well, while I figure that out, that was everything that was in the aftermath and Void Seeders box. Right, let's take a look at the Kickstarter bonus content again with the cat <laughs> in the spacesuit and some Cheetos. <laughs> that's brilliant. And on the back it says coming soon to Grail. Well, that's that's gone. <laughs> that's come and gone on Kickstarter. So let's see what is inside of this box. If I can get it all out. Right, so that was everything. So what do we have? We have an extra punch board, an extra punch board, and I don't know what they are for, maybe an extra game mode, so, uh, well, okay, we got some extra, extra tokens, all right, we have an envelope, ooh, mysterious, oh, nice, look at this, this is a metal coin with the into grill I think <laughs> and a note dear backer we are extremely proud to deliver to your hands one of the very first copies of Nemesis so I'll give that a read later it's very nice paper so that's pretty cool by Martin Schwerkot I hope I pronounced that right <laughs> And they have given me a Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon art book, Tainted Grail promo metal coin, Ether Fields playing card game deck, and Untold Stories number one. All right. Cool. So thank you very much for that. I always like, you know, metal, metal coins and metal pieces. That's pretty cool. I'll just put that over there. So then we have Untold Stories number one, which is part of the Kickstarter. So that's pretty cool. And it basically tells the story of, of Nemesis. Uh, and it's, it's a comic book, uh, graphic novel, if you want, if you will. And uh, there's actually missions in here that are intertwined with this story. That's the right expression. The Flying Dutchman. So that's pretty cool. So you can read the story, then play a mission, and then continue with the story. That's pretty awesome. Here's another mission setup. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty thick booklet. I mean, it's about, what, 70 pages, I think. So that is nice. So we have that. So then, indeed, here is a Tainted Grail art book, which is rather awesome. I mean, as a nemesis backer, you get this, this art book. That's really nice. I haven't backed this one. There was just a little bit too much going on, so I couldn't back them all. But it does look nice. And I've seen pictures on Facebook of people who received this game recently as well. And have been posting pictures and playing the game, trying it out. And it does look very interesting. So I do hope I have a chance to at least try it out once. Because this does look very intriguing. Very cool. Yeah. Well, plenty of that. Cool. Tainted Grail art book. So then there is a Ether Fields deck of cards, which was also a Kickstarter, a cooperative story-driven board game, which I also did not back because, you know, too much. 
too many things going on. And some extra Nemesis cards. So that's pretty cool. Nice. So a bunch of extras, some tokens, and a nice letter. Awesome. So some other things I got with the Kickstarter is Untold Stories number two. So, you know, we had number one as the bonus content, and number two was another uh, stretch goal. So again, a rather thick... Uh, comic book, uh, graphic novel, with uh, an overview. Oh, and these are the uh, tokens that we saw in the uh, bonus content box. So these tokens do serve a purpose, namely for this book. So again, more cool artwork to read with more story about the nemesis, the ship and the crew. And it looks like this is only story, so there are no missions in here, at least not so far. Nope, this is just more lore. So that's pretty cool. Give that a good read later. And the Nemesis art book, which is kind of the same size as the Tainted Grail art book, as you can see, so that looks nice on your shelf. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So the Nemesis art book is uh, also, uh, it's, 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 you know, okay, it's not too thick, but uh, it's got really nice page filling artwork of all the aliens. Here is the queen, here's an alien on top of some of those eggs. Some of the crew being chased by an alien, almost being pierced there. Another crew member. There's another crew member, and uh, another crew member with another alien. Really cool artwork there. Atmospheric. Yes, I'll just go through that quickly. It's really, really cool looking. Really gives you a nice atmosphere, a nice vibe to, uh, to play the game. Put on some creepy music, <laughs> and you got yourself a good setting. So yeah, nice. <laughs> cool. All right. Really, really cool looking. The Nemesis art book. And that was my unboxing of everything you see here from Nemesis by Awaken Realms. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.